What's up guys, David here, and in this quick video, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways to factory unlock the Samsung Galaxy S7, which will allow you to use it with any GSM carrier or SIM card anywhere around the world. Now, right up front, I wanna let you guys know that this method isn't free, but then again, the money you could save on roaming charges when you travel, and the resale value unlocking your phone actually adds to the phone could make it well worth the cost. So the process itself is dead simple. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find your phone's IMEI number, which can be done by opening up the dialer, hitting star, hash, zero, six, hash, which will open up a prompt with the phone's IMEI. The next step is to get the unique unlock code your phone needs from an unlocking service. Our partners and trusted source is Unlock River, so we'll be using them here, where you simply select the carrier your phone is locked to, which in my case is AT&T in the United States. Under Manufacturer, you're obviously going to want to select Samsung, and then under Model, find the Galaxy S7 from this huge list of Samsung phones you can unlock, where at least for AT&T, there are two versions of unlocks you can choose from. One is a standard 3 to 6 day delivery, while the other is an express delivery for those of you who need to get unlocked as soon as possible. Note that the cost of unlocking varies from carrier to carrier, and the standard or express options may not always be available. Next, enter in that IMEI number that we got earlier, making sure to type it in exactly as it appeared on your phone, otherwise this whole process won't work. And then finally, type in a valid email address where you want the unlock code to be sent. After that, just hit unlock and within the quoted time frame after purchasing, you'll get an email that looks something like this, giving you that unlock code that you need. Once you have it, turn off the Galaxy S7, insert any non-accepted SIM card into your phone. So in my case, since this is an AT&T Galaxy S7, I'll put in a Vodafone SIM and then power the phone back on. When the phone is done booting up, you'll get a message saying invalid SIM as you'd kind of expect. And all you have to do at this point is unlock the phone and it'll literally ask you for an unlock code. Just enter in the unlock code that was sent to you via email and voila, your Galaxy S7 is now factory unlocked. Easy, right? All right, guys, that is it for me in this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.